So everyone wants the best mortgage rates. And it kind of makes sense because very little difference in mortgage rates could turn into several thousand dollars in mortgage payments over the course of the loan. So how do you shop for the best mortgage rates? Now, one problem that I've seen in my experience is that people don't give all the information that's required for a lender to give you the right rate code. Now, say if you go to lender A and only give half the information, and you go to lender B and give other information which is probably a little more than what you give to lender A. Now, the two lenders may give you different rate code, and that's not because one is higher than the other, it's because you did not give them all the information that's required to provide them the right mortgage code. So make sure that at your end, you provide them all the information that they ask for. Because you may or may not know it, but say a condominium may have a higher mortgage rate than a single family residence. And you may not think that's really relevant. So make, make sure you do that. Make sure you volunteer to give all the information that's required to provide an accurate mortgage code. Now, once you have done that, and you have these mortgage codes from several different lenders, now it's your time to kind of compare all of them and see which one suits you the best. One, always make apples to apples comparison. Don't just look at who has the best rates. Don't just look at 3.75 versus 4% versus 4.25 because one person uh, or one company which has the lowest rate may have a very high fees and that may not work for you. So make sure you look at both the rate and the cost and see if it makes sense for you. Two, Check with them, how do they track mortgage rates? Now, you may not know this, but mortgage rates are impacted by daily trading of mortgage-backed securities on Wall Street. And you want to work with a lender who tracks that mortgage-backed securities on a daily basis so that they can advise you on if this is a good time to lock a rate or should they be waiting before they lock it. Also, while you're shopping for mortgage rates, find out if these rates are good for how long, meaning some lenders will quote you a mortgage rate, but they can only lock that for 15 days. Now, 15 days is usually not good enough to close a mortgage transaction. So you want to be sure that they're locking it for enough time period so that it gives you proper amount of time to close, the, close that loan. And finally, make sure that you're comparing all mortgage rates which are of the same program. Again, I've seen that happening several times when people come to me and what they have is a code for an FHA loan, and they are trying to compare that with the rate code that I provide them, say, on a conventional loan. Again, that goes back to my theory of compare apples to apples, and don't take an FHA loan and compare that with a conforming loan. If you take into account all the advice that I gave you, I'm sure you'll be able to shop for the best mortgage rates and also find something which makes sense for your financial situation. And if you are in the market either for refinance or purchase and looking for a competitive rates, make sure to give us a call.